Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So the diagram shows a trapezium, ABCD, in which BC is parallel to AD. So these two are in the same direction. Now, angle BCD is 90 degrees, uh, BCD is right here. Okay, good. The coordinates of A, B, and D are given to you as follows. So everything that we have here, we can use to solve the following questions. Part one, we have to find the equation of BC and CD. So first thing first, where's BC? BC is this one. Pretty easy. So we have to first find the, to find the equation of a line, we must first find the gradient of a line. That makes sense, right? So what is the gradient of BC? Okay, so we realize that BC is in the same direction as AD, which means the gradient of BC have to be the gradient of AD. So we can just find the gradient of AD first. That will be what? So y2 minus y1, so 5 minus 0, over x2 minus x1. That will be 5 over 10. That will be half. Which means the gradient of BC would also have to be half because they are in the same direction. Now we can use the gradient and the passing point, which is 4, 6, to find the equation of BC. This will be my x value and my y value. So y minus this corresponding value over x minus its corresponding value have to be 1 over 2, which is the gradient. Now we simply cross multiply, you will have 2y minus 12 is equal to x minus 4. Continue. 2y have to be x. Send this over here. So minus 4 plus 12 will be plus 8. But you can always double check. Why not? That will be plus 8. So this will be the equation of our BC. Now let's move on to the next one is find the equation of CD. So how would you find this one? Because it is at right angle to each other, as you can see, the gradient of BC multiplied by the gradient of CD have to give you minus 1, which means if this is half and we have to multiply by gradient of MC have to be minus 1, it means that the gradient of M, so CD, have to be minus 2. So from this, we can move on to find the equation of that line CD. We have a passing point, which is 12, 5, that will be x and the y value. So y minus the corresponding value over x minus its corresponding value have to be minus 2. Minus 2 is minus 2 over 1, so cross multiply, you will have what? y minus 5, and that will be minus 2x plus the value of 24 on the other side. Now, y will be minus 2x plus 24 plus 5, and that will be minus 2x plus 29. So this will be my equation for the line of CD. Part 1, done. Now part 2, we have to find the coordinates of the point C. Now we understand that the point C is what? It is the point of intersection between the lines BC and CD. Now because it is the intersecting of the intersection of those two lines, we have to use simultaneous equation. So here we have equation number one and equation number two we can solve very easily. You can use uh, substitution or you can use elimination, it is up to you. So here we have y, replace 2y, y is also minus 2x plus 29 is equal to x plus 8. That will be minus 4x plus 58 is equal to x plus 8. If you send this over here, it becomes minus 5x, and that will be minus 50, right? So 8 minus 5, 8 will be minus 50. Now x will be the value of 10. Replace back in the equation, so y will be minus 2 times 10 plus 29. That will be minus 20 plus 29. That will be 9 as your answer. Okay, so let's write at the point. The point C will be the x value is 10 and the y value is 9. That will be my passing point. I mean the coordinates of C. And that will be a question involving coordinates geometry.